Here in Australia, getting around on land isn't too hard. Most of us can get where we need to go by walking, riding a bike or in a car. But in some places, these options aren't possible. I went to a city called Alta, which is above the Arctic Circle in Norway, to meet some kids who train husky dogs to pull sleighs through the snow. About 15,000 k's from Australia, Norway is famous for its Viking history, its beautiful landscape and its extreme weather. In winter, most of Norway is covered in snow. Temperatures can reach below minus 40 degrees in some areas and there can be a lot of wind and cloud cover. That's where these guys come in. Huskies, they're strong, energetic dogs who thrive in Norway's harsh winter climate. Over the years, huskies have played an important role in wars, transporting supplies and working as ambulances in the mountains. Today, they're still used in some areas to transport people and goods to places cars can't get to, but the creation of snowmobiles has reduced the need for them. In Alta, a coastal city right at the top of Norway, the Lirek family still breed and train huskies to race and to carry sleighs, which is called mushing. Today, sisters, 13-year-old Hannah and 10-year-old Emma are the mushers taking the reins. At 11am, it's still pretty dark, but the dogs are up and eager to go for a run. The family owns about 50 dogs, including some very cute puppies who aren't camera shy. The girls say that controlling the sled is pretty simple. We list these two main rules, hang on and use the brake. We have two brakes. We have the big brake and the small brake. We use the big brake when we're going down hills and when we want to stop. The small brake we use when we just want to slow down. And mushers have to be very careful. Next main rule is to hang on. Some people think after kind of five minutes, wow, I'm so good at this. And they start looking back and not hanging on. And suddenly it comes a bump and then they fall off. It's time to harness the dogs. The heavier the load, the more dogs that are needed to pull it. <laughs> When tying the dogs to the sleighs, making sure they don't get tangled is a tricky job. Once they're all in place, they get pretty excited. And when the gates are open, it's obvious that these dogs enjoy their work. And they're off. The dogs usually run at about 20 k's per hour if they're travelling long distances, but can go much faster if they're only going for a short trip. The mushers control the dogs with four basic commands. Flare, which means start, as well as stop, ha for left, and g for right. Eventually, it's my turn to have a go, so Hannah takes a seat in the sleigh, and it's not as easy as it looks. On the open snow, I'm okay, but between the trees, it's a different story. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, you might want to slow down because it starts to get open. Okay. Now. Soon enough, my skills as a dog musher fail me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I'm leaning. Oh, oh. sorry. Okay? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> we had an accident. <laughs> this is where I landed. Back at the house, the girls explain that they start training the dogs from when they're puppies. They're Alaska Tuskies. Uh, we don't really care about how they look. That doesn't matter at all. Just how much matters uh, if how much they like to pull and strong-headed and strong. That's what matters. And in summer, when the huskies can't pull sleds through snow, they need to get exercise in other ways. Sometimes we are in the dog yard to get a little bit new movement with these. So we have. Uh, take a ball and throw it around so they run after it. It's pretty amazing to see how happy these dogs are to work every day and how different life can be for kids on the other side of the world. Goodbye, Goodbye BTN. BTN. Hope, you see you. Hope to see you in Norway. That's it from BTN Extra. I'll be back later with News on 3. See you then.